that. Um, I wanted to focus just a moment on the uh, Presidential Emergency Operating Center. <clears throat> you were there uh, for a good part of the day. I think you were there with the Vice President. And uh, we had that order given, I think it was by the President, that uh, authorized uh, the shooting down of commercial aircraft that were suspected to be controlled by terrorists. Um, were you there when that order was given? No, I, I was not. I was made aware of it uh, during the time that the airplane coming in to the Pentagon, uh, there was a young man who would come in and say to the vice president, the, the plane is 50 miles out, the plane is 30 miles out. And when it got down to the plane is 10 miles out, uh, the young man also said to the vice president, do the orders still stand? And uh, the vice president turned and whipped his neck around and said, of course the orders still stand. Have you heard anything to the contrary? Well, at the time, I didn't know what all that meant. And um, the flight you're referring to is the, the one flight that came into the Pentagon. Pentagon. Yeah. And uh, so uh, I was not aware that that discussion had already taken place. And uh, but in listening to the conversation between the young man and and the vice president, uh, then uh, uh, at the time I didn't really recognize the significance of that. And then later I, I heard of the fact that the airplanes had been scrambled from Langley to come up to D.C., but those planes were still about 10 minutes away. And so then at the time we heard about the, the airplane that went into Pennsylvania, then I thought, oh my God, did we shoot it down? And then we had to, with the vice president, go through the Pentagon to check that out. Let me see if I understand that the plane that was headed toward the Pentagon and was uh, some miles away there, there was an order to shoot that plane down. Well, I don't know that specifically, but I do that do know that the airplanes were scrambled from from um, Langley uh, or for or from Norfolk, uh, the Norfolk area, and uh, so. Uh, but I did not know about the order specifically, other than listening to that of the conversation. But, but there very clearly was an order to shoot commercial aircraft. Subsequently, out. I found that out. Um, with respect to Flight 93, uh, what type of information were you and the Vice President receiving about that flight? The only information we uh, had uh, at that point was when it um, was when it went into uh, uh, when, when it crashed. I see. You didn't know beforehand about that airplane? Did not. And so there was no specific order there to shoot that plane down? No, sir. Um, but there were military planes in the air in position to shoot down commercial aircraft? That's right. The planes had been scrambled, I believe, from Otis uh, at that point. 